Hey everyone, Karen the Warp Spinster here. Thanks for spending some time with me today. The bad news is that my camera screwed up and I am going to have to do the first part of this as a voiceover on some screenshots. But the good news is that you don't have to listen to as much of my rambling. I didn't get much sleep last night and added to my usual sort of easily distracted personality. You are not going to have to sit through a lot of that. I changed my mind about three o'clock this morning about what I was going to do today and instead have decided that I will tackle a couple possible things, one of which I ended up not doing, but I'll show you what it is anyway. So the first thing I want to do is a little bit different funky pineapple. We're going back to the funky pineapple, but we're going to do it Alice style this morning. So there'll be a bit of a variation on it, and I'll be using the pinks and reds, and you know me, so probably wide stripes as well. The other piece that I thought I was going to talk about today is something related to Alice, but the curvy checkerboards, wonky checkerboards that I did. These pieces, the pink and white and black, are left over from something else we did for Alice. Didn't like them together, but I have a couple ideas for how we might fix that. So turns out I didn't have time to do that. We will do it at a later time. So back to our Alice's funky pineapples. I want to do the same concept, but I want to make it more vertical. I have so many pieces that are vertical because of Alice falling down the rabbit hole. So I wanted to continue that. And that means that I think I need to start out with this tall triangle rather than a half square triangle. So I'm building this just as I would the funky pineapples that I did before, except that I'm going to start with this tall triangle. And because I want it to be taller than it is wide, on the right-hand side, I will be doing narrower strips. And, and on the top side, I'll be doing wider strips so that it will accentuate that vertical feel. The build process is going to be just the same as we did in the previous funky pineapples, except that I'm going to have narrow strips on the right hand side and wider strips on the top to accentuate that vertical feeling. And I'm going to alternate white strips and striped strips, the black and white stripes. So one side will have the wide and the other will have the narrow. But also on each side I'm going to alternate white with the stripes. So it'll be white stripe, white stripe stripe white, stripe white on the adjacent side. And other than that, the build is, is just the same. I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description to the videos that have that build process in more detail. At this point, I think I'll just do the fast forward version of the videos on just showing you the build because there's nothing really new and earth shaking there. There is no audio with any of these funky pieces, so I think you'll still be able to get the gist of it, however, with all of the trimming and putting on the different triangles. And then after that, it will pick up with properly recorded. A couple of things I want to point out here. At some point I abandoned the whole, <laughs> put on the two sides and then put on the triangle and put on one side and did a triangle and then put on the other side and okay, it works. <laughs> it's fine. I also 
Wish I had put a pink in here somewhere. So I've added one here. I was going to stop after say five triangles, but I've decided I really need another red up there. I had to put in that pink and so now I have to have a red to top it off. And it might go something like that. It's really, really a pretty funky one. We're doing kind of a funky pineapple dance off here. Looks the same yet different. So I think I will top it off with this red and then trim it up somehow or other. And then I might want to try something a little different. Same concept, but different arrangement of fabrics. And I ended up sending it that way instead of that way. But that works too. It is quite different than this, but I think it's quite Alice as well. And that's what we were going for. Now what I want to do is reverse it do a positive negative kind of thing where these triangles are the stripes and the white and the pink and the reds are the side strips. Same kind of process, but I will need to do some triangles in the stripes and in the white, which will not be a difficult concept. And let me think. Do I want it to go the other way or follow the same concept? So in other words, if I have the triangle pointing a different direction, I don't know if that's going to make a difference in the end. It might. We'll see how it goes. Let's see if my brain will <laughs> go that direction today. I will be cutting some triangles then and maybe laying it out to see if I will like it. You know where my brain's going now. I don't think it'll work on this, but I'm I'm thinking about a concept, obviously not this on top of stripes I already have, but, hmm, maybe a solid black. Do I have any narrow solid blacks I could fake this with? Probably not. See, easily distracted, Dave. What can I say? Although I suppose this isn't really much different <laughs> from my average day. This is why my colleagues insisted that I, every time I was going to change subject suddenly, I would say moo. It's in the cow in a commercial. Well, maybe just something in the States where they're running to meet the bull. There's a race to go see the bull in this field. And there's a cow that says, I'm going to win. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm... Ooh, dandelions. And that's pretty much me. So they insisted that I say moo whenever I changed subject abruptly. And they were always connected. It's just that nothing outside of my brain could see what the connection was. Anyway, so... I should make a moo quilt, shouldn't I? Just change direction all the time. <laughs> and narrower than that, but could do something like that too. I'm on a curve kick at the moment. In case you hadn't guessed. Curves and stripes, that's my thing right now. Yeah, I don't like that so much. For some reason, I don't like it going that direction. Heck, we've already made it really narrow. Let's just make it narrow enough to make it act sort of like a bias. Too narrow enough for that. Now that I have black schmutz all over. I think I would want it to curve much more than this piece is going to let me do if I were to do it at all, which is uncertain. But it's a thought. Or I could do a red, something in red or maybe pink, 
and a decorative stitch that curves across there. Ah, uh, yes. Ideas, ideas, ideas. Where was I? Oh, yes. All right, I'm going <laughs> to cut some pieces that I need for this, and we'll come back and chat a little bit. I can tell already that my brain is going to have trouble with this. It is trying to... I tried to put a white piece here. Oh, I need some white triangles, don't I? <clears throat> See, I'm confused all over again. So it's going to be a constant check on myself to make sure that I am putting the right things in the right place. I'll use this scrap to make a funky, a couple of funky triangles from white. And now, I keep wanting to add white on these sides. And I think part of it is because I'm moving this direction instead of this direction, in addition to having everything reversed. So this is a triangle, this is a side. So let's do a pink over here and then this other, other red up there. Nope, it's gotta go the other way, doesn't it? Um, because the triangles go in that direction. This is the triangle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then it will build out that way. Somewhere I have, yes. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It will be interesting, at least. So I will start to build out. And I think I'm going to be alternating the pink fairly often because these reds are pretty similar. And I ran into that with this one. If I had stayed with all red throughout, probably would have been okay, but I do like that pop of pink in there. So I'm going to build these out, at least for a little ways to see if I like it. The first thing I notice as I'm doing this is that there's a lot going on here. This has enough white that the eye has a place to rest, and it doesn't really have that here. I'm going to continue, but I'm going to use more white on these triangles than I had originally thought I might, just because it needs that continuity of white in there for a little bit of rest. I think if doing another one, I would, hmm, have alternate white and reds here, maybe, and then do stripes, which would be a lot, but at least you still would have a place to rest. Or maybe I would still do the whites here, but alternate the reds and a stripe. So lots of options for where you use the fabric should give you different effects. But I'm going to continue with this just to see if it calms down any, or if it's still going to be wowza, in which case it would be a smaller block maybe bounded by white. We'll see how this is going to look, but I'm not sure. I may end up doing a lot more white and just have one of each of those in there somewhere. And maybe if I alternate pink, so now if I do some pink on this side and a red on this side, it will help that solid will give the eye a bit of rest and it's a softer, lighter color. So I think that's what I'll do. One thing I've decided to do is to make the pink strips wider and then the, the red strips. Kind of wish I'd done it here, but we're learning as we go. And that's why we're doing this. I was going to put this triangle next but that looked like too much to me. So I'm going to do another white one first and then that will probably come up next. 
and that may be, and then finish with a white maybe, and that may be as much as we do on this one. See how it goes. If we like it, we might continue, or we might just leave it as a small learning experience. I'm going to stop at this point because I don't like where this is going. It might be all right if I, or better anyway, if I had pink down here. Actually, that makes it a lot better, doesn't it? And maybe if this piece were the smaller stripe, the scale of that really wide stripe, I think is maybe too much for this. And the fact that it's going this way instead of, well, that one, this one's doing that too. So I would, See if I've got one that goes that direction. Probably not. But if I had a stripe that was going like that, then maybe it would be better. So this pink definitely makes it better. But then there's almost too much pink, so apparently I'm not going to be happy no matter what I do. <laughs> so let's think about what we might do instead, and I'm not saying I'm tossing this one out. I'll think about it. There may be some things I can do to tone it down a bit or something. I might swap that out and put this in. I don't know, that's going to be pretty funky. I could always, of course, applique something different on there. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so options for what could be done instead. So variations on the colors as a summary. I kind of talked about some before, but we could do alternating colors and stripes on the outside here and then white going up. We could do um, reds, red and pink on the sides and then all stripes going up, but I, I would want the stripes to be going like this so that it's pointing in the same direction as, let's see how that looks here. See, I think that looks better if it's going that direction. So that's an option. Then this becomes a little bit too much pink especially right next to that. So that even makes this much better, doesn't it? If I were to change that out to a triangle that goes, the stripes are going that direction. So I would definitely want to do that on another one. And I could just keep changing out what's here. I could have stripes going up here with reds and pinks or stripes going up here with white and reds and pinks. Choices, choices. I do like having plenty of white in it just because I like negative space and to me, white, or at least a solid, is negative space and I just like that. So you would do probably things differently and I'd love to hear what your choices would be for this. I'm just trying to think. I'm gonna take a little time <clears throat> I'm here. Yeah, am I? Am I? Yes. I think I'm going to take some time to at least change this one out to a stripe like, nope, that's not right yet. There we go. A stripe like that. Yes, Emily likes that too. And then maybe the same thing here. And I don't know that I want it to be this wide stripe though. 
Maybe if it's pointed that direction. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? It doesn't look quite so, quite so random. I mean, this is a pretty random block, but I think it looks less random if I do that. So I might just do another block. I was thinking about changing this out too, but I don't think. What if I made that a white triangle? I know that goes against the, the pattern of what we're doing there, but at least it carries through some of that negative space a little better. See, my brain wanted to do that to begin with, so maybe I should have listened. And then I might even be able to tolerate <laughs> having just the reds here and not all that pink. Or making those, even that pink, quite a bit narrower. Then I think that would be better. I don't know if I want those right next to each other. So in retrospect, that is probably what I would do. And then I'm wondering if, I'm always wondering this these days, what if I put a little curvy thing on here? We'll do the curve thing. Interesting. It's actually not half bad. I don't think it's even three quarters bad. <laughs> even couch that in a nice shiny black, kind of rayon black or something. So there are all the things I, I learned <laughs> today. You may have learned that my brain on no sleep is not something you want to encounter again. <laughs> But I have gotten two more ideas that I've, I've thought of a way to do the moo quilt. And it's, it's a moo, but it is connected. I, there's a connection in my brain between the moo quilt and then another literature based theme as well that came out of this. So the funky pineapple was a fortuitous discovery for me. All right, this is okay. This I would like if we had a few changes to it so I could make an entirely new block. Probably would be quicker, frankly, <laughs> than trying to fix this one. Although I, I don't like it that way. So if I'm more inclined to use it in something, I mean, it's a learning experience. I don't have to use everything that I practice. This is just play time, but that would definitely be better. So I might figure out a way to change that out or do a new one. Anyway. <laughs> I think that's it for today. This bit that I was going to do will save for another time, but I think we learned quite a few things today about funky pineapple and what else we might do. So we'll call it a day. I fixed it. I decided I wanted to go ahead and see how it would look. So I replaced these two pieces with bold stripe, the big wide stripe. I didn't think I wanted that, but when I put them both there, I decided that worked pretty well. Then I replaced this red piece with white here, and I decided I would applique this, and while I was at it, I'll just give it a nice little interesting cross stitch over it, and I think that was successful too. It might be interesting to explore doing that on maybe just some random pieces, not necessarily as a construction tactic, but as a, a decorative thing and select spaces. So I'm much happier with this now. 
than I was before, and I learned a lot of things. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. I will see you on Sunday, and in the meantime, peace.